got here a 2007 Ford Taurus. This one has a odometer display issue. Well, it looks like it came on there dimly. That's full brightness. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, customer states that it comes and goes randomly. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing pulled out and uh, get it repaired for them. Get this thing out. There's a couple 7 millimeter screws right here. And then this bezel pops off and then I'll go ahead and get that done and I'll show you the next step. Alright, I got it. Got these two screws removed, and then this pops out like this. But then you have to remove the radio, which uh, there's basically four holes in the front. You stick the screwdriver in there, and uh, they actually sell some special tools. I always use two screwdrivers about this size. Um, you stick the screwdriver in the hole and basically pry this little deal over and kind of pull and it pops right out on both sides one side at a time uh, the, the special tool makes it much easier once that's out, you could kind of carefully lay it down right here and remove five seven millimeter screws around the radio area. And then, then you gotta drop this little kick panel. There's two eight millimeter bolts on the bottom and then it just pops out. Once that's out, <coughs> you could just pull this piece back and then there's one seven millimeter screw right there. Get that pulled out. Once that's out, this is pretty much loose. There's gonna be a connector right there. You get that disconnected. Also the headlight switch needs to be disconnected. All right, got it pulled out. One plug right there. Two right here. And it just slips out. Then you got four seven millimeter screws. One on each corner. And then there's a plug on the back right there. And also the shift cable. Don't forget about the shift cable. We see a lot of these broken. I'm going to get this pulled. Alright, I got it pulled out. I left the shift indicator on the spot. Uh, you can see these two holes on each end. Uh, there's, they go into here. And then these screws go straight through them. So basically, you got to remove these two screws and just pull the shift indicator straight down and uh, pop it out just like that. These are T15 screws or five and a half I believe. Five and a half millimeter. <clears throat> all right I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing repaired. Alright, I got it all reinstalled. There it is, nice and bright. Everything's working. And uh, just want to show you here. You just insert it like this and just pry this way and it bends that tab. Pry this way. And basically bends that tab in towards the towards the radio and it frees it so once you got it like that 
pretty much pull it out. See, I just did it with the one screwdriver because they're both connected. With, with two of them, it makes it a little bit easier, but just like that. Then it just pops back in. All right, if you, if you have a issue with your information display, we offer this service on our website. I'll, in, I'll include a link in the description of this video. The service is fairly affordable. Um, comes with a lifetime warranty. We also uh, repair if you have gauge issues. Uh, we can fix that as well. And full power loss where you got nothing, no displays, no gauges. Alright, check out the website. Thanks for watching.